Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Newtonia, located in Newton County, Missouri, on September 30th, 1862. After the Battle of Pea Ridge, back in March of 1862, most troops from both sides had abandoned the Arkansas-Missouri border region. The Confederates had returned in late summer in order to secure the area. In September, fearing a buildup and attack, a Union force was sent to stop the buildup. It consisted of two of Union General Blunt's brigades under the command of Brigadier General Frederick Salomon, who left Fort Scott in late September with their target being southwestern Missouri. En route, U.S. Colonel Edward Lynn's scouting force of 150 men came across and attacked a Confederate defensive unit consisting of about 200 men in Newtonia. The successful attack drove the men back. Colonel Lynn forced the Confederates back into the town proper itself. Before he could follow up on his breakthrough, though, Confederate Colonel Cooper arrived with reinforcements, including the 1st Choctaw and Chickasaw Regiment, and drove back the Union troops. When all seemed lost for the Union, General Salomon himself arrived with reinforcements and stopped the Confederate push and counterattacked. Attacking the right flank, Salomon was unable to gain a foothold. This inability to gain a foothold forced General Salomon to turn around and try to stop the Confederate attack on the left flank of the Union. That left flank had broken, and the Union troops had began to flee. The Confederate troops consisted mostly of the Choctaw and Chickasaw Native Americans had pushed back the Union troops. The only reason the Union wasn't overrun immediately as it retreated was due to artillery posted on the road to defend the Union positions. The artillery, however, wasn't able to withstand the Native American tribal members' assault combined with the Confederate artillery, and the entire Union force retreated back to Sarcoxy, more than 10 miles away. The total casualties for the town of Newtonia, including wounded and killed for the Union, was 245 men, while the Confederates only suffered 78 killed and wounded themselves. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.